So I got access to Google Vids yesterday. She started rolling out, they announced it in April. I thought I'd talk about what it's like. I want to make it clear that when I'm saying Google Vid, not me trying to be cool and shortening Google videos, it is literally called Google Vids. And if you're thinking that sounds like what a middle manager at 30 something would call a video app to sound cool, kind of the whole platform, to be honest. Looks like, looks like I made it. Um, it's essentially like an automatic presentation, but mostly video maker. It's like if Google Slides and a bad video editor got married, there's a lot of features that you've already probably seen if you use Canva or if you use like any of the Adobe suites. Um, but it's basically a, a AI, quote unquote, native um, builder of presentations. What that means is rather than putting any thought or work into it, you just type a sentence or two and ask it to spit out a whole presentation for you. That presentation is auto-stitched to video um, and has a lot of extra things that you'd expect from Google, stock images, stock music, that kind of stuff. And then instead of presenting it, you save it as an MP4. I think one of the most fascinating things about this is that they're not even trying to come to TikTok at all, which is kind of a refreshing uh, thing from a social network to just forget that that exists. But like you can't change the format of these presentations. They are boxes. They are rectangular, you know, presentation, that sort of, you know, 16 by 9. They are a PowerPoint in these videos. Um, there's no rotating them sideways. Um, see about all your tech service. This is very much to be seen on a desktop in a meeting with 40 other people in a hybrid work environment where everyone feels like it could have just been an email. And in this case, it could be an email because it's a video file. Um, and I think that's what they're betting on here is asynchronous work doesn't really have a good video component. There's Loom, um, but Loom is a little, honestly, can be somewhat challenging to use. And if you were trying to make something more formal, more exciting, more polished, um, Loom isn't really that. Loom is, you know, talking to an audience like this, except without the edits. And what this seems to be is Google's attempt to take Loom and turn it into something that could feel more polished, more corporate friendly is really what this is. This is a corporate friendly video tool. It's not cap cut. It's not owned by TikTok. It's something that a executive at a large Fortune 500 company can look at and roll out to 10,000 employees and feel like they accomplished a really a, uh, an upgrade of efficiency. What really all they gave is a, another video tool that no one wanted to make videos that no one will watch. Honestly, everything I pushed out of this felt a little, little bit like AI slop, which is what you'd expect from a presentation where I typed in two sentences and got a three minute video with a thrilling soundtrack. Uh, I thought I'd end this with some of the thrilling soundtrack, so watch some of my random video that took about 10 seconds to make. if you're interested in uh, Google Vids, Ugh, the worst name ever. And I just want to be clear, when you Google Google Vids, it gives you a typo error. This is not a serious company.